Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the Docker Swarm and how we can change the, the ingress network for another IP range. I discovered this problem when I'm trying to create the staging environment in, on the work. And the problem is the default network range on the Docker Swarm will be 10.0.0.0 and that's what the IP range we are running on work. And the problem is I could not connect outside to my Docker Swarm environment, but when I'm running directly in the command line for the Docker, I could make a curl call for every single container, so something is wrong. I spent a lot of time and uh, I discovered it's because the ingress network is ha having the same IP address range as my network. And that's why I'm creating this video, it's to show how we can change the way of the docker swarm and the ingress network to docker swarm so you don't need to to flip out and change everything on your on your router and something like that you can do it directly in your docker swarm so let's go ahead this uh, server is already is docker swarm so i can just say docker swarm docker node sorry to do and i just look in as a root and uh, you can just say docker node and here you can see, I can say ls, and I can see this Docker Swarm Manager is, uh, is status ready and I'm a leader. So everything here, it's, it's pretty okay. And uh, then we can just say network, Docker network uh, ls. And uh, what we have down here, I need to find it here. This is the ingress network. And if we're trying to make a Docker uh, network inspect, uh, ingress then you can see we have uh, here 10 0 0 2 and the 10 0 0 14 and the um, and that's all the ingress networks here and if we are scrolling up uh, below in the IPAM you can see we are on the subnet of the 10 0 0 0 and the gateway should be 10 0 0 1 and the problem is if your network already uh, is this one it will conflict with the, the Docker's network uh, and your router. All your computer will not crash, but you cannot going from your network into the Docker's um, network environment. And that's what we're gonna change. So, kind of clear. So, we're gonna say Docker network remove ingress. And it will uh, ask what we are sure, and we cannot do it because it's already running on some um, services. So if you already have a, a running Docker environment in the Docker Swarm, Docker container here, I'll show you. I have a Kibana and a Logstash and, and something like here. You need to say Docker stack ls and we need to remove this stack. Docker remove stack remove Oops, and then we need to remove the stack. When you remove the stack, just see about we have any stacks we don't have. So we can say Docker network remove ingress. And now we can remove the ingress. So you need to be sure uh, no uh, no containers use the ingress network because then you're up and running. You need to remove all um, the, the containers first. So if you're running on a slave for your uh, Docker environment, then you, I will recommend you just to leave, uh, leave the network before uh, you do this, and else you can just install it up again. It's if you have a swarm, it should be pretty easy to to close it down and 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 uh, create again. And now we don't have any container, so I have removed the ingress. So let's create a new uh, network here create the network create and uh, we want to say driver should be overlay and should be ingress and we want to subnet the subnet should be uh, 100 and the problem is this is my IP address uh, locally on my network um, but I think we can just say 
uh, and that will work because I'm not in the same IP range so you need to be sure about the IP range uh, too and then we need the gateway and that should be um, 192 102 and then we need to to do uh, OPG and come docker network driver MTU 1200 and we want to call it inverse and something uh, the gateway uh, went wrong okay so we need to drag on network remove ingress yes and this is what we want drag on network ls strange about we can up to this um, I have trying to figure out what happening about the error but uh, I can see I just uh, leaving the, the swarm you can see the docker swarm here I'm not uh, a part of the swarm I think yeah we don't have and uh, I reboot the machine so I'm running this in the virtual environment so something is going wrong inside after the reboot everything is uh, running correctly as it uh, should be so now we can do this what we want to so sudo and the uh, docker swarm in it then we're creating the swarm everything is nice and uh, sudo docker network ls we have the ingress sudo docker network remove ingress and we remove the ingress network we don't have it and then we say sudo and this command run then and should we have the ingress network again so now we can say uh, sudo network inspect ingress course we missing Docker sorry and here we go and you can see up here in the uh, EPAM and the drivers default and the options is null and the subnet now is uh, 192 and the gateway is uh, the same just to the, to the left so what is meaning we use the, the two first here and then the IP the range the 16 that's meaning we, we spend that over the, the two last one so we basically have uh, um, yes, yeah, so the calculator I cannot remember 255 multiply 2255. So basically, we, we could have uh, 65 uh, thousands different containers run on this uh, machine with different IP addresses. And uh, remember, the container we, you couldn't run so many containers on your dog environment, and, uh, and you're running out of the ports, but sometimes you are having a stack. Well, this stack combines with let's say uh, 10 different containers and that's still using one port number so it depends on how you're working with docker but this is the options i love so that's how you can uh, change your uh, the ingress network so you don't conflict with your the 10 network and i really hope you enjoy it. and i'm so sorry about the the mistakes i've done but uh, as you know if you're following my channel you can subscribe by click on the on the thing below in the right corner if you don't subscribe but i'm explaining i have a little notes on the right hand and then i'm trying to code so so real as it's possible so sometimes it's a hit into the stocks because i don't think about anything and i don't cut it out of my video because i will show even me with the more than 20 years experience of, of development i can still uh, make mistakes so I really hope you enjoy and I really hope you want to subscribe. Remember, you can find uh, my uh, code, code uh, sources on GitHub 
and uh, in this case I will pro uh, publish a, a sh file so you basically just can uh, take your swarm down uh, put your swarm up and uh, then create your network as you want that's what we're gonna do and uh, thank you so much for watching this video hope to see you next time bye